being a uh, fellow graduates, Griffith College staff, and all other attendees, I'd um, firstly thank you that I didn't know you were going to do that. So I really appreciate the, the kind words there. Um, firstly, I'd like to congratulate all my fellow uh, graduates on completing their programs and extend my utmost thanks and appreciation to all of the Griffith College staff. From the administration to each and every teacher here at the college, uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Chris, and I'm proud to say today that I'm graduating here at Griffith College, having just completed my Diploma of Criminology and Criminal Justice. I'm 30 years old and work full-time for the better part of 12 years, up until uh, mid-last year. Fresh out of grade 12, I attended university to study a Bachelor of Arts, with every intention being that I was going to be a graphic designer that worked in design and advertising. I hated it. <laughs> I uh, trying to juggle two jobs, a full-time study load and a social life had me pretty burnt out and I decided that higher education just wasn't for me. I found my place, although unqualified, working as a graphic designer and spent almost 10 years at a single company. Then COVID-19 hit early last year and everything changed in one way or another. As I was nearing almost 10 years working as a designer, but with no real path ahead of me, it felt like it was a better time as I need to do something. After some pretty long discussions with my beautiful partner, Nina, uh, and a whole lot of help and encouragement, I started exploring my options and finally started considering heading back to a higher education setting. Now, you might be thinking, did he say criminology and criminal justice? Yeah, I'm aware I might look and sound a little bit different, but yeah, just bear with me. So, <laughs> my, uh, my father is a recently retired police officer that spent 30 years in the Queensland Police Service, so I've always been somewhat this way inclined. I've, uh, I've always found the concepts of law, of water, of policing fascinating, and I've always had an interest and a lot of questions regarding the way it all works. The Criminology and Criminal Justice program here at Griffith College jumped out at me almost immediately upon searching around, and after sending off a letter of interest, I found myself thrown back into higher education within the, the Griffith College digital campus. Almost at no time for expectations, and I quickly navigated my way around Moodle I figured out the differences between the learning content, learning experiences, and learning activities. <laughs> and soon enough, jumped right into Zoom, and breakout rooms, and all the fun stuff online learning entailed. I was hooked, and I couldn't wait for things to really get up underway throughout the semester. And even though all my classes were online, I soon got to know each one of my teachers in their own way. I learned that Wendy was the first one to admit she wasn't the most technologically savvy, but she also introduced me to Kahoot, the online learning activity that I look forward to every week. I learned that no matter how big or small the class was, she never really just wanted us to learn. <laughs> I learned that Greg never once boasted about his firearm prowess, but provided us with an insight into policing and criminal investigations like no other could. And I learned that when my master really wanted us to soak in a good point or tidbit of information, she hit us with a big y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Overall though, the fantastic amount of insight and knowledge that Sheena, Wendy, Greg, and my have provided the class and me with was invaluable. This is honestly a place I never thought I'd ever be and these are things I never thought I'd ever get the opportunity to say. It's the most significant challenge I've faced in the past year was moving past my conceptions of college, university, and higher education. My conceptions and feelings were built off a pretty sour taste that I had from over a decade ago. Letting go and really moving past these conceptions, or misconceptions, quickly became easier as the days went on. And in time, I really found my place as a student and a member of Berkeley College. When I was offered the opportunity in my second semester to join the PAL, or Peer Assisted Learning Program, I jumped at it. I thought it was a fantastic way to help any fellow students that might have been struggling or just needed someone to bounce their ideas or concerns off of. Then, upon completing my second semester, I was offered the opportunity to join the Griffith College Mates program. And again, I thought, what better way to help my fellow students? And in addition to that, what better way to contribute and give back to the college and the staff that have helped me so much? I could not have overcome any of the challenges I faced last year without the environment the staff and teachers have built here. And as such, I really cannot say enough about my experiences and my teachers and the college. Each staff member here at the college, in addition to the aforementioned teaching staff, has treated me with a level of respect and kindness that I've never experienced in an educational setting before. So again, thank you. Moving beyond the college, I was actually pretty overwhelmed, and to be honest, I didn't think I'd get this far. With that said, I feel as if Griffith College and the Criminology Program here has provided me with an excellent platform to build off of. After talking to classmates that are in their second year at the university, 
really highlighted this platform and the experiences I got to take part in at college. I feel like I received a leg up and I really got to be part of something special as an entry into a bachelor's program. Thank you to all in attendance today. Uh, thank you to all the staff. And as I said, a special thanks to Sheena, Wendy, Greg, and Maya. You guys have done so much for me and for my fellow crim students during such a weird time in history. And finally, again, my congratulations to my fellow graduates. Thank you. Make it this far. You're on. You're on top. Um, at the graduation ceremony last trimester, we had another criminology student who won the Ducks and an academic excellence award. And Chris saw her speech and he said, "Wow, she got all of that." And I saw that and I said, "I want to do that." And you've done it. And that's pretty amazing when you do set your mind to something. What you can do. Um, we do have one more award for the afternoon. The Griffith College Domestic Scholarship. That's designed to recognize a reward and reward an outstanding academic achievement by a Griffith College domestic student progressing towards a Griffith Uni degree program. This award is dedicated to the domestic student who achieves the highest overall score across all programs and both campuses in their graduating trimester. The student will receive a scholarship to the amount of $3,000 which will be paid into the first trimester of their study at Griffith Uni Undergraduate Award Program. I'd now like to call on Des Minton, our um, Director of Student and Academic Services to present this award. Any guesses? <laughs> Any guesses who is winning this award? <laughs> the Trimester 3 2020 recipient of the Domestic Domestic Griffith University Griffith College Scholarship is Christopher Cullen. Now, along with his GPA of seven, he's got an average mark of 91.04 across all assessments in his classes. That's a pretty phenomenal achievement. Congratulations. Thank you.